Just sneaky, sneaky siege attacking and everything. That's Auckland. That is Auckland. Auckland is in the game, everybody. Okay, everyone drop everything you've got. We're, we're, we're claiming Auckland. Where are the envoys? I need envoys. Oh dear, some, some city-states really do just change your view on how the game is going to progress. And that is absolutely one of them. Uh, that is a Portuguese city, which is looking lovely. My pride of the fleet has finally arrived, which is just lovely. Oh man, they need to be a bit more powerful. Luckily, the shipyard is right around the corner. Still though, I can just capture all of these galleys. It seems like a caravel attack on a galley is pretty much a guaranteed kill. Which is lovely. 125 health I actually got from that pillage. I, it, it's more than how it's more than I've got. Oi, get off salty tech. I I disapprove of this sort of attacking on me. City state troops dying, I don't care about that. That's got nothing to do with anything that I'm doing, but get off salty tech. Feel like I'm going to lash out. Lash out in that direction. Oh, I get to keep these unique units. Of course I do. Just take side on from the front rather than from the flanking position. Look at me creeping up on Indonesia now. Very nice. Getting rid of their units one by one. Where's my ab Do I have an admiral one? Don't have an admiral around here. Who knows what I'm doing, really? Dust storm. Oh no. Yeah, the problem with this sieve that I am finding is, is the Mongolian issue, where every time you make a three unit, it's obviously got very little health and it's right on the front line. So it gets killed almost immediately, which I find quite funny, but never mind. So yeah, war weariness is a bit of a problem with this sieve. I reckon we can take this city though. It's through population. Lovely stuff. Loyalty is a bit of a problem. We are doing the thing where we are conquering sieves literally as fast as we can get away with. Oh, the super fun thing is now I can make alliances. Let's uh, let's have a think about who might want to make an alliance with old Ursa. Another eight population city there as well. Look at this. Oh, loyalty is a problem. England literally cannot give me their units fast enough. It's like, stop giving me three navy. Like, I like it. I'm enjoying it. But you don't need to keep doing this for me. I can build my own. Oh, wow. I just raided a tribal village and I got construction and engineering in the same hut. That's awesome. There's the shipyard. Right, quickly, just gonna get my city to buy it in. This is my capital. Oh yeah, that's good. But most importantly, the production is, is kind of like a, a sideshow. Now, HMS Salty Tech has another 20 combat strength from that shipyard, attacking with 73 strength on the walls of Lisbon. Hoping this means we can get around by looking at it, I think. Portugal is doing that thing where it is clogging the sea with boats. If I physically can't get through, there's nothing I can do. Well, now that I've got mass production, do I just go for ironclads? Is that what I do? Just keep upping the ante? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go for ironclads, why not? I, I, my boats aren't powerful enough, That's. I think we can all agree on that. I don't have enough navy. Another barbarian encampment destroyed. It'd be good if I actually used these trade routes. So far, I have not used these trade routes, but we will get there eventually. Oh yeah, I am losing cities left, right and centre here, but I mean, we really don't mind. It's all about taking the cities. I don't need to hold them. Who needs to hold a city? Such a pointless idea. Lisbon has been taken. What has the loyalty doing now? God, that's got to be... Oh, that's a little better. Now things are starting to want to stick around. Just keep the momentum on. There's all kinds of units scattered around here, but I don't really care about the units as much as I care about the cities. Saying that though, look at that. 10 population city on the coast here that has no protection in it whatsoever. That is one I want to get ready to take next turn, ideally. Yoink, says the gold. 485 gold. Oh, I love it. So if we can get this city, one attack and then, oh, two. No, next turn I'm going to take it, which is fine because this city will survive one more turn. But yeah, these Indonesian cities are proving quite tricky to get hold of. Literally, it sounds ridiculous, but the war weariness is a problem because every time I steal boats, they die immediately, which is annoying. But I'm on my fleet is stretched. I am stretched across the entire map right now, and it's like, how? Actually, Salty Tech can't help themselves. Let's get one attack in. Let's get, oh, two attacks in just to steal that boat. But then pillage three player trade routes at the same time. Oh, actually only two of them got pillaged. But that's 2,000 gold, which means I can now spend it on Imhotep. Not that I'm building Mausoleum, but I am absolutely building Mausoleum. Another city taken from Portugal as well. I'm going to take the city this turn. Go on, do it, do it. Yay! Six population. That helps a lot. Minus six. What about this one now? Plus five. Good. Oh, 
Sometimes it's like, yeah, I'm taking cities from Indonesia so quickly, but I physically can't hold on to them, which is the worst bit. Uh, but it's fine. We figured it out. We've got it going now, and I reckon we can probably take another city next turn. Oh, Carthage has suddenly got a fleet. That is an absolute fleet. I love it. Okay, I don't know what they're going to try and do with that fleet, but, but it is a fleet. Let's build more boats. Gonna need a bigger boat, Salt Attack. I need you to just slip around quickly because I'm gonna ignore the fleet. I'm just gonna sail around it and try and take the cities. Oh, is that gonna take it? That's gonna be close, isn't it? God, man, actually, I'm gonna just do one more shot, then move to there, then coastal raid for a huge chunk of science. 252 science. Take Tyre, the capital. That puts a big dent in Phoenicia's defenses. I'm losing so many boats. So many boats. Yeah, the, the, A, the deity AI is rapidly putting up walls. It is engaged with a worldwide threat. Oh, oh, did you see that? That was my flagship being absolutely bruised by these Phoenician biremes. I'm, I'm, yeah, my strategy with them at the moment is just totally, totally ignore them. I don't know if that's the best strategy. Oh, I've lost just so many troops that turn. But there is no animation to go with it. But I've built the Flying Dutchman. This is the wonder that the mod introduced. Only one person can build it. It can hit enemies up to three hexes away with 70 strength, 60 defense, and six movement points. I'm expecting it to be awesome. I, I, I also expect the mod not to be working. So let's see what this does. Oh no, it's there. It works. It is a wonder. Um, it Has it just removed this tile? No, the tile technically is the Flying Dutchman. So that is a permanent wonder, and that's giving me some permanent culture in my city, but that's good to know. It works as a frigate, so it's got bombardment. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, this is going to be very, very powerful. Let's finally get the Warlord's Throne. I was building that wonder for so long, but I, I kind of didn't get a chance to build a Warlord's Throne. But uh, Mausoleum is here as well. This is not in my capital. I built my harbour in a way that I got the most science and gold out of it and totally neglected the Mausoleum, but it's not a problem. As long as you've got the Mausoleum somewhere, you're getting most of the science. Like, I lose 15% science because it's not in my Pingala city. But honestly, this is like a 10-pop city that's working all of these tiles. It's still pretty good. Finally getting around to putting professional army back into my government. It's about time that we actually started converting some of these stolen boats into useful units. Salty Tack is amused at the idea of trying to be destroyed in battle. It's not going to happen. That was 140 culture I just got there. Oh, amazing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> full health immediately. And now we back away into the sea where we can strike again next turn. As I say, amused by the idea that I could be defeated in battle. All of these galleys that I've been holding on to, these are all going to get upgraded. Quadrine would be, I mean, that would be a good upgrade if I knew what frigate, I'm um, sorry, uh, Nita was. I don't know what Nita is. Could be anything. I need a little canal city, methinks. Salty Tech, can you open the way for me? Thank you so much. There's another city taken. Oh, Carthage. Going to have a little nosy round here and see what we can find. Oh, a bunch of culture. Thank you so much, 265 of it to be precise. Oh, we're so close to mercantilism now. And now we're even closer because suddenly we have a merchant. <laughs> that was well-timed. Oh, we've even got our own profit. Oh my lord, we can make a pirate religion. Down in the southern shores of the world, we make the pirate code. Something that all pirates must adhere to. What is it again? Uh, no one, no one's sure, but everyone's happy about it. And I mean, people want to join in with the pirate code. It makes people, we've got to spread the pirate code, haven't we? I mean, honestly, at this point, the religion is totally pointless. <laughs> I, just, I just want the pirate code. Here comes the flying Dutchman shooting over the top. Oh, it's just a wonder ship. Look at that. My second unique unit as well. It's going to help mop up England. I've been besieging them with what can only be described as very half-baked units, but we, we're putting them under siege and they can't escape. But actually, now I can get all my galleys out and we can go and try and upgrade them, which would be quite nice. Forms an armada out of the military naval unit. I'm going to see, actually, as fun as Salty Tech, you are I mean, you're a brilliant unit, don't get me wrong. I really want to see if a flying Dutchman can receive that benefit. So let me just quickly finish off Stoke upon Trent. Dear, oh dear, my famous adversary. Upgrade to a Caravel. Upgrade to a Caravel. And then we're going to get our Admiral. Santa Cruz, off you pop. I really want to see if we can make a Flying Dutchman Armada. I mean, just, just the words alone. And there's a good combination of words. It really is. This is truly the most insulting way I could play. Just totally ignoring enemy navies that are near me and going, you know what? Yeah, if you want to fight me, 
You're very welcome to, but I'm just literally going right now from city to city, just taking these all. Thank you, there's Carthage. Salty Tech is more intrigued in the spoils of war. Ho ho ho, yes. Oh, the plunder is good, the booty is good. And there it is, mercantilism. I can now get the pirate flotilla. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I really am. Let's buy in at least one in the combat areas that we need to bring it into. It's 1,120 gold. Doesn't feel like an awful lot. So we're just gonna, yeah, pick at least one up. There it is. Oh, it's just like a flotilla of regular boats. Only 50 strength, but it's fast, levels up quickly, and pillages anything. And plus a 50 strength ranged attack on cities. That's a big, big deal. Otherwise, I'm going to go to cultural heritage now. Because then I can get these pirate museums up in my empire. That could be fun. So the pirate flotilla, it's, it's not super strong against cities. But it's better than my quadrooms, which is the main thing here. If I go one attack on the city, like so... Pretty good. I'm just trying to work out if I could take it this turn with a caravel. Norway's got a very annoyingly placed warrior right in the way that I think is going to stop me from getting through. But I'll just do the city damage for now. Salty Tech can just make their way and plunder another trade route. It's just all about that, that casual gold accumulation. Just keep it rocking in. Every small piece of gold that I take is another unit upgrade. It's another boat that I can buy. Like, it's all about the accumulation of gold with this sieve. If the gold never stops, you never stop. It's the main thing. Okay, Santa Cruz, do you work? Does it work? Is it the world's first armada? It is. The Flying Dutchman Wonder is now an armada. We have 87 range strength before promotions. Let's just uh, show you what that does. Wabam! Bradford is almost gone. And now it is. And now it is mine. <laughs> oh, I lose so many units every turn. I really do. I probably lose about four units every turn, but it's just because I'm producing so many. I can get away with it, but it's frightening. There's the industrial era. So steam power is next up. I could get a second shipyard. That would be good. There's another scientist. We are scientists, apparently. How am I getting these all? I think it's because everyone else is dead. I think that's probably how and why. We'll take it. Oh, no. Oh, no. London is well defended, but also it's inland. Oh, I don't know what troops are. I'm going to need a, a, like a regular horseman to go and run in. That's, what is this game? Can I refuse on moral grounds? Can we just say it is against our pirate code? I don't want to do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Flying Dutchman just took 78 strength off leads in one hit. Okay, that is that is now, it is a flagship and a half. Actually, no saying that. That's the weapon of war. We already had a flagship. My flagship was amazing. In fact, the flagship is going to have to get in and dirty now because... Can I do a melee attack? Yeah, I can. I always forget these things can do melee attacks. There you go. We're taking the city manually. Bermuda Triangle. Oh, my lord. Bermuda Triangle's in this game. I love that. That makes me very happy. You know, it actually pays to stay put and uh, take all of these units out because you just re you reinforce your entire army just by removing everything, killing everything. You get all the gold. You get all the culture. Like, I'm whizzing through the culture tree. It's been brilliant. My culture is, is nan a dull fueled. I'll, I'll kind of admit that anyway day of the week but but it's uh yeah it's been really nice it's remembering to do the pillaging every turn this is this is the major thing that you've got to remember to do because the yields are just ridiculous all of the unit kills though we are getting so much gold and culture oh yeah do i have to send at least one unit through bermuda triangle of course i do did it make any difference of course it didn't in fact i've got to try and find them oh there they are it would have dunked me right by Coupe. I like that. Coupe would have spent that entire game going, Why do people keep appearing next to me? <laughs> what promotion on Salty Tech? What have we got? Barbarians, gold on defeated unit kills. Yeah, let's go for gold on unit kills. But I mean, I don't really need much of anything at the moment. It's all going very well. Oh, Warlord's Throne has finally finished, by the way. So we've now got 20% production across my empire, and we probably will for the rest of the game. One thing that I have just realized is that I'm steaming towards ironclads, and I don't actually know where any of the coal is. So that's probably something I should investigate. Apadana, Imhotep had something to do, so I did it in the capital. Two extra envoys means that I can actually get some city-state friends and do some trading. You know, I need pine pirate havens to sell my gold. Otherwise, what's the point in pillaging it? I, I mean, I, I, apart from just sort of sleeping on it like a lovely bed. That's Auckland, by the way, though. Oh, yes, so much extra production in my empire. Enough production to temporarily break the game there. It had to really think about that one. And I do like the idea of getting Mexico City on side. That could be fun. Anshan? Oh, actually, Anshan would be a theft. 
So let's do that. It'll power my campuses a little bit and it'll steal a city state from the AI, which both of these things amuse me very greatly. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. Right, we need to actually flip this around now. Professional army is good. Raid is good. I'll, I need Alhambra, which I can build. So let's go and pop that there. And then we'll, we'll see if we can build Alhambra in a second. But like, I need more military government slots so that I can actually improve my empire a bit more. Oh, you're in coal. Where is coal on this map? Does it exist? Is it a thing? Uh, Mahanja Daira has some, but it's underneath a farm. Lahore has two pockets of it. Hong Kong has some. And this city to the north has some. That's it. Okay, ironclads may be a bit of a uh, anticlimax. N never mind. <laughs> Salty Tech is destroying Nidoros just by themselves. It's wonderful. Meanwhile, the Flying Dutchman is uh, doing pretty much exactly the same thing to Leeds. Bam. Take the city. Eight population flips very nicely. Loyalty is a problem, but that just means we've got to take London even faster. Which we shall with all of this gold. With all this booty. Steam power. Yeah, that would be good if I had coal, wouldn't it? I think, honestly, the best way I'm going to get this is if Lahore picks it up. But I just can't force them to grow their borders any more than they have. Not without just sending envoys to them, and that's a very slow process. So, yeah, we'll wait for that one. Venetian Arsenal? Yay! These are things that I'm trying to build as quickly as I can. What's the next engineer? The Theodore. Again, only 2,000 gold. We can pillage that in like a turn with a good turn. I guess I could just skip through and now go for nuclear submarines. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Let's go for that. Come on, let's be sensible. Let's go for something we need. Oh, I love these ships so much. It's just like do the pillage as you do. Take the walls off the city. Get a couple of kills by shooting units. Move along. Do some pillaging. <laughs> what else do you want to do in a turn? Hang on a second. One of, one of these random realizations. I just picked up the construction tech, which effectively is making frames, putting wood together, cranes, all that sort of thing. How how do I have dry docks that can build ironclads with, without construction? What? I don't even have iron working. What, what is this game? <laughs> what am I making my ironclads from? Do I actually want to know? Is it worth knowing? No one's sure. Well, regardless, still pillaging lots of stuff. There's military engineering. Did we get any nitre? We at least got nitre. Oh, there's some on an island that I own. That's, that's good. And I own that too. My word, this map has almost no strategics. It's mad. Still doing all the pillaging though. Got lots of faith. What do I do with my faith? Get another merchant? Actually, if I could get a Seador very soon with the faith. Oh, I forget this about the pillage economy. You end up with just hundreds and hundreds of copies of the weirdest resources and you're like, what do I do with this? Gold, 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 gold. And the Seador. The rate in which I can tech up is extraordinary. I, I you know, I, I, this is just wonderful. I'm really, like, there's no other way I can really put this. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, whoops. I haven't unlocked Alhambra yet. That's, that's a mistake. Come on. Oh, we go. There's castles. Legit, I just, all I had to do was pillage it. <laughs> of course. I, the castles were to be found in the ruins of places that I'm attacking. The, the true castles were the friends we made along the way. Ten turns. Alhambra. Unfortunately, Imhotep is not suited to this rush, but honestly, it'll do. Oh, that's convenient. Um, London just got flooded and its entire walls were destroyed. Cool. All right, well, my, my one land unit may have a little bit more luck here than I expected. Bam. This is possibly the, the maddest turn 100 I've had in a long time, though. Just, it just goes to show the, the amount that you can get from just constant war. Never step back. No step back at all. There's Nidoros. Taken. Done. Where's Indonesia's capital? It's up there. Come on, Salty Tech. Stop getting distracted by shooting things and uh, make your way to the new front line. I'm still losing the occasional city, but honestly, it's fine. It's just a loyalty. Who needs loyalty anyway, you know? Totally unneeded resource. Don't need it. Couldn't possibly want it. There's another city. Actually, that's much more loyal. Hey, for loyalty. Always the most important resource. Never don't have it. All right, I really want to take London. So let's just do one more attack and in we go. The city is mine. Loyalty is a problem, but it's not a huge problem. As problems go, it is avoidable. Leeds, on the other hand, now that, that can make its way back to my empire, please. Thank you. It's always quite useful, actually, when England increases the embarked strength of their units, because it means a slinger is still worth 60 culture and gold when I kill it. That is pretty handy. Can I have Leeds back, please? 
Go on. Oh, it really doesn't want to stay with me, but never mind. Flying Dutchman, though. Rolling Barrage. Okay. 107 strength when attacking cities now. That's, um... That's nicely powerful. This is kind of like a uh, like a final showboat, I guess. Venetian Arsenal. If I didn't have enough boats before, now I very much will have enough boats because every time I make one, I get a second. And I've also got double production towards boats. So, you know, it's all good. Look at this city. It's not even my capital. It's awesome. In come the pirate fleets. Look at all these units just making their way in to attack Indonesia's capital. Yeah. Oh. And Salty Tech is just arriving as well. A little, little late to the party, friend. It's fine. Uh, an Admiral Salty Tech is never, never late. Always arrives exactly when they intend to. Time for an ironclad. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Well, look who it is, swanning in at the last minute. Hello, Salty Tech. In fact, actually, you know what? I feel like, I feel like the honor should belong to you in this particular endeavor. That is Indonesia's capital taken on turn 105, 275 BC, 368 science per turn, pillaging about 2,500 gold every turn. Impossible to spend it all. This was such a fun game. The wonderful ladies and gentlemen that watch my series will know that some games are engaging because... <laughs> <laughs> because they're difficult, they're strategic, they're interesting, it's a real challenge. I mean, this tells you everything you need to know. This was, uh, genuinely, I couldn't recommend playing this game enough. If you want to practice deity, if you want to practice domination, if you want to practice fighting the navy, and most importantly, if you want to see why Norway is so good, or why pillage economy is such an important part of any domination victory, I would recommend playing a game with the Republic of Pirates. Did I make it look easy? Yes, of course I did. Did Deity++, plus plus, two modes harder than Deity, make any difference whatsoever? <laughs> no, no it didn't. We, we absolutely steamrolled. But my strategy there, pretty much, was basically build harbours. You can do this as England. Like most of the strategy that I did today, you can do as England. Get the Royal Navy Dockhouse down. You can even do it with Carthage in Phoenicia. Stick the Cothons down. Get that initial golden age, get the double adjacency on harbors, and get science going. Because on a naval map, you can out-tech anybody. You building campuses? You fools! Don't build a campus, build a dockyard! It's way better, because you can build army from it as well. Oh, only 14, Herbert Hoover. Oh dear. Um, yeah, pirates don't build, they steal. Cities captured? A lot. Cities founded? Oh look, I did found one city! Come on, that's pretty good. Uh, I didn't lose any cities. Districts constructed, mostly harbours, I'll be honest with you. My culture was pretty good. You could see when I picked up Nan Nadal, that was most of my culture. Faith-wise, didn't have much of a faith game, but I was pillaging huge amounts of it, and that's what mattered. Look, you can see the turns where I've been pillaging. Look at that, Koopa. Koopa had a bunch of gold that game. Yeah, fair play. I left them alone at the bottom of the map, and they did well. There's my science. I actually didn't have the science lead for most of that game. That's the silly thing. Phoenicia was doing my strategy and they were actually doing it almost better than me. England started doing it as well. It was only towards the end of the game when I started capturing all those cities. In fact, actually, if we have a look, you can see cities captured. Look, it wasn't until the last third of the game that we actually started to attack people. That's how late we left it. Score, easily doing well. You can see religions found it good. Good. Blackbeard has the pirate code founded towards the end of the game. Wonders constructed. Oh, look, I did build some stuff. I stole most of it, but that's neither here nor there. Units killed? Yeah, that's quite a few. Units lost? Terrifyingly high. I think I lost like 25 units and only killed about 70. That, that's not even a 3 to 1 ratio. I, I, am, I am disgusted with myself. I, I wholeheartedly apologize. This is not the content you want to see. Oh, it's a bizarre uh, strategy, isn't it? Just absolute craziness oh man i always love playing with brigand court just watching the beauty of the phantom flagship just just sailing around having an absolute joy joyous time look at it the model the model is still one of the coolest models in the game and having a wonder now i like appreciate you may not think that this is a particularly balanced mod this flying dutchman and whether or not this one unit is worth a wonder in itself but especially late game i really like the idea of having wonders that give you unique units that is a really sweet idea imagine late game if that's what a giant 
Giant Death Robot was. You actually put it on the map and built it up as like a construct. Maybe you've got to bring the arms together and construct it into like a machine. That would be cool. Oh man, mod makers, have a look at how this was done and see what you can come up with because I bet there are some fabled fantastic... <gasps> you could play as, oh, an ancient era like sort of Greek civilization and make uh, a Trojan horse. <laughs> An actual giant wooden horse unit that you can bring to an enemy city and then troops spawn out of it. Could you imagine? Oh, that would be wonderful. Maybe you could have very famous flagships for your navy. Like every civilization can have a flagship that's better and powers up uh, units around it. That would make navy certainly more interesting. Super tanks, juggernauts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, this mod, a lot of fun. Yeah, I know there was a lot of fun stuff, but actually the idea behind the Pirate Haven was quite fun. The Pirate Flotilla, it, to be honest, it was basically just a privateer that leveled up faster. It really wasn't that good. Being able to perform coastal raids and getting such good yields from them is very, very good. But these are all things that are in the base game anyway. I mean, admittedly, Gorgo doesn't get quite as much culture, but it's still a good amount. Remember to make your way along to Discord. I've got all the maps, all of the mods. Come along and play along with me. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next series. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> that picture is cursed. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Goober. Clint Tennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, MTG Golfman. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!